Hello. Hi there. Hello. My name's Sam. I'm a student from U of D, nursing student. I'm going to be doing your assessment today. Okay. Uh, can I get your name? Jack Jitsen. Okay. And your date of birth? 16 April 1981. Okay. And uh, can you tell me what day it is today? Today is the uh, 13th June. Okay. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, and do you know where you are right now? At uh, UDM. Okay, so the patient is alert and oriented times four. Uh, do you have any allergies? No. Okay, good. I'm just going to wash up my hands here do, 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 and make sure to get the paper towel down first, wash them, suds up, grab the paper towel. And are you experiencing any pain right now? No. Okay. And what brings you in here today? Um, just a routine checkup. Okay. It's here. So first, I'm going to start off with the uh, the general survey. So the patient appears to be his stated age. He's dressed appropriately for the weather and his age. He's well groomed, not detecting any uh, body odor or breath odor. Doesn't seem to be intoxicated, and there's no visible signs of illness. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move on to the uh, physical assessment. So I'm going to start out with the hair. So just from inspecting it, there doesn't seem to be any patchiness. It's well distributed all over the head and palpating it. It's a good even thickness throughout. It's not wet. It's dry. Um, and so moving on to the skin, just going to inspect the skin looking for any lesions, bumps, masses, anything like that. I'm going to palpate it for temperature. It's uh, warm and dry to the touch, no diaphoresis. And now I'm going to palpate with the pads of my fingers, just looking for any masses, anything like that. Um, you notice that there's uh, a small nevi on your, your nose there. Oh, here? Yeah, have you That's... had that for a while? It's from like my birth. It's already been there. Okay. And you, have you noticed the change size anytime recently? No. No. Okay. So based on the small size, it's less than six millimeters, and the fact that it hasn't changed, I think it's nothing to worry about. If uh, I did think it was something to worry about, I would assess it using A B C D E. So looking for asymmetry, uh, irregular border. Uh, if there's multiple colors, diameter of greater than six millimeters, and any evolution if it's changed in appearance recently. If, if, uh, and if I decide that it's something that you're concerned about, I'll refer him to a dermatologist. And I'm just going to put your hands up. I'm just going to take a quick look at your nails. So the nail beds are pink. Uh, the skin around the nails is intact. And when we do the capillary refill test here, the color comes right back into them in less than two seconds. So that's a normal finding. And I don't see any signs of clubbing either. Okay, so. Moving on to the skull and face, I'm just going to palpate the skull and assess it for size, shape, and symmetry. So it is symmetrical and I don't feel any masses, bumps, or anything like that. Um, I'm going to assess the function of cranial nerve 5 now. So could you please just uh, close your eyes for me and tell me where you feel me touching? Cheek, right cheek. Left cheek, chin, forehead. Okay, so uh, the sensory function of cranial nerve 5 is, is uh, normal. And I'm just going to assess uh, cranial nerve 7 here. Uh, so could you go ahead and just uh, do as I asked, a smile for me? Now uh, puff up your cheeks. Okay, now close your eyes really tight. All right, and um, just uh, frown for me. Okay, so his facial expressions were symmetrical, and uh, yeah, he was able to do all of those things, so cranial nerve 7 seems to be functioning well. So I'm going to move on now to eyes. I'm going to inspect his eyebrows and eyelashes, looking for patchiness or any unevenness, uh, looking for any inflammation of the conjunctiva, any discoloration in the sclera, which could indicate jaundice. Um, 
So, do you wear corrective lenses? No. Okay. So, I'm going to have him do the uh, Snellen eye chart. So, if you could just uh, cover your uh, right eye and hold this out at arm's length and then read the lowest line that you can for me. P, Q, R, S, T. Okay, and now switch eyes and read the lowest line that you can. P, Q, R, S, T. Okay. So I'll note down the lowest line he was able to read and any letters missed. That's testing for uh, cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve. And now I'm going to assess, uh, going to inspect his pupils here for uh, size, shape, and symmetry. They are um, round black pupils and uh, round brown irises. They are the same size. And I'm just going to inspect the... Uh, functions of cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 right now. So could you just follow the pen light for me? I'm going to do cranial nerve 3 for his left eye first. So here, 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 and here. And now cranial nerve, cranial nerve 3 for the right eye. Okay, good. And now cranial nerve 4 for the left eye. And 4 for the right eye. And now cranial nerve 6 for the left eye and for the right eye. Okay, So uh, he was able to follow it in all the directions, so it looks like their motor function is good. Now I'm just going to continue checking cranial nerve 3 for uh, pupillary dilation. So I'm just going to come in from the side here. Okay, so both pupils dilated there. And, or both pupils constricted, sorry. So I saw consensual constriction there. That's a, an appropriate uh, pupillary light reflex. And now I'm going to finish up cranial nerve 3 by testing his uh, pupils for accommodation. So just follow the pen light as it comes in towards you. Okay. <laughs> so the pupils constricted together there. So that's a proper, uh, that's a normal finding for accommodation. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the nose. Just going to observe the nose, inspect it for size and placement on the face, any uh, inflammation or abnormalities. Um, just going to palpate it a little bit. I yeah, don't feel any lumps, lesions, or masses. Um, and I'm going to just check the Frontal and maxillary sinuses here. Let me know if you feel any pain. No tenderness? Okay, good. And now I'm going to assess the patency of his nares. So if you could just occlude your one nostril and then breathe in. And now occlude the other one and breathe in. Okay, so he was able to inhale through both nostrils, so his nares are patent. Okay, moving on to the ears. I'm just going to uh, inspect them uh, for color, uh, size, shape, elasticity, symmetry, or tenderness. Do you feel any tenderness when I do this? No. Okay. And they're elastic. They bounce right back to shape. Their color is, uh, is uniform with the rest of his skin, brown. And so now I'm just going to do a inspection of the external ear canal looking for foreign objects or any excessive cerumen accumulation. And I do not see either of those. And now I'm just going to do the whisper test to check function of cranial nerve 8. So if you could just cover your left ear and then uh, tell me the word that you hear me whispering, okay? Fire truck. Fire truck. Okay, now cover your right ear and tell me what you hear me whispering. Lighthouse. Okay, so that's a normal finding for cranial nerve 8. And we're going to move on to the mouth now. So I'm going to inspect the lips for uh, symmetry, color, and any...